Hey guys, it's Kitty, and uh, no, son of a bitch, I'm not gonna do the Roxo voice right now. Or ever. But uh, anyways, I've been getting ready for Anime Boston all week, and one of the last things I have to do for this costume was a makeup test. So, I figured two birds, one stone, I'd record it, I'd show you guys, I'd make an ass out of myself, it'd be great. But uh, anyways, I guess I'll get to that, and anything you need to know product-wise is in the description box, so yeah. Go look. It's useful. I swear. Alright, so I start with a primed but bare face, and the first thing I do is I start outlining where I want the black to go. I'm just using like a, a roll-up Rimmel eyeliner for this. I, uh, I don't understand when people put on the black first. I, uh, I just outline all of that, and then I kind of fill the white in around it. But yeah, the uh, first outline doesn't have to be super perfect, but I end up going in and changing it kind of as I go along, and that's fine, but at least you got that all figured out before you put the white on. And to start filling in the white bits, I take a Mayron cream blend stick in white with just one of those little cheapy makeup sponges. And uh, the thing with white face paint is you have to be careful to dab it on as opposed to swiping or like spraying it around. But I go in, and I get what I can, edge-wise, to kind of keep from going into the black. And then to get the details, I take my concealer brush, and I dip it in the cream blend stick as well, and pat that on. Again, don't swipe it, you're just gonna be streaky and miserable. <laughs> I would know. Once I have the uh, first bit of the white filled in, I actually go back in with Mayron Clown White on the sponge and make it a little bit more opaque in spots. And then to move on so I can do all the black, I set everything with Graftobian Clown White Powder. You can use baby powder too if you're cheap, but this makes it a lot brighter and it stays on really well. To start the black, I take a uh, MAC Chroma Cake in black, and just a angled eyeliner brush. I, I go in between using the Chroma Cake and using Black Snazaroo. They're both water-based, but one is $8 and one is $50, so it depends on what I'm doing. I, uh, I'll usually do the detail work with the MAC and then I'll get frustrated and just end up filling it in with Snazaroo anyways. I, uh, I actually mix mine with Witch Hazel as opposed to water, because it's water-based paint. And uh, my skin is really sensitive, and for some reason I think the, the Witch Hazel spreads a little bit better, and all of that. I think the, the most annoying thing about working with water-based face paint is getting the consistency right, because if you mix too much liquid in with it, it's just transparent or gray or blotchy or whatever. But uh, I keep it pretty thick and try to keep things as opaque as humanly possible. To do the eyes I went in with a bigger brush because using that liner brush is gonna take four fucking ever. This is probably the most time consuming part of face paint just because I always used little little detail brushes, but the smaller the brush, the longer it takes to fill things in, but, you know, details. You need those. A lot of the time for cosplays with face paint, I cover my eyebrows, but, uh, and paint over them, but Roxo's eyebrows are filled in black, so I did the same thing with the angled brush for mine. And then, because I don't want to put face paint on my mouth, I go in with a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Witches, so that'll actually stay on. And then I just kind of threw eyelashes on, because, you know, why the fuck not? Is there a situation where I'm not wearing eyelashes? No, not really. And then once those are on, all that's left is mascara and my nose! 
Yay! I hope that was uh, semi-informative and at least half as entertaining for you guys as it was for me because I I can't deal with this costume whatsoever. But uh, if you'd like me to either do more cosplay makeup or just weird stuff with my face, let me know in the comments. And uh, I don't know, if you want to keep up with other weird shit I do, I'm under Miss Kitty Kush on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you want to see more paint I do that's not on my face, I'm Glitter Gore Art on Instagram and Facebook as well. But yet again, everything product-wise is listed in the description, and I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for watching. All that good stuff. I'm gonna go uh, wash the sin off now. Bye!